Hi everyone, welcome to Smart Math Online Tutor. Through this video, I am going to teach you about indices. First, let us see what is an index. Here you see a number written in index notation. We read this as 2 to the power 3. This can be expanded as 2 into 2 into 2. That is 2 multiplied 3 times. So here 2 to the power 3 is called the index form while 2 into 2 into 2 is called the expanded form. And then let us see what are the parts of this index notation. 5 is called the index while 2 is called the base and the whole thing here is called a power. Now under this topic we are going to see how to express a number in index notation with a prime number as the base. This is a very simple section where you should have a clear idea about division and multiplication. So let's get started by looking into an example. Write 24 as a product of powers of prime numbers. So here you should remember what prime numbers are. The basic prime numbers include 2, 3, 5, 7 etc. So here always you have to divide the given number with the help of prime numbers. So that is 24 you know can be divided by 2. So I first divide it by 2. And the answer is 12. Once again, I can continue dividing by 2 because 2, 12 is divisible by 2. And that gives you 6. Once again by 2 will give you 3. And now 3 must be divided by 3 in order to obtain 1. Remember, this division must be continued until you obtain 1 as the final answer. The division section is now over. Now what we do is we write 24 as a product of prime numbers. Now 24 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. This set of prime numbers we have taken from the dividers in the division section. And that gives you when written as a product of powers 2 to the power 3 into 3 to the power 1. So here we have written 24 as a product of powers of prime numbers. The prime numbers we have used here are 2 and 3. Let's move on to another example. Write 250 as a product of powers of prime numbers. Just like before we start dividing 250 by 2, then you get the answer as 125. It can be divided by 5 and that gives you 25. That can be again divided by 5. That gives you 5. Again to be divided by 5. And that will give you the answer as 1. So here 250 can be written as 2 into 5 into 5 into 5 into 5. So that gives you 2 times 5 to the power 3. So that is how you write 250 as a product of powers of prime numbers. Moving on to another section, expressing a number as a power of a given number. Now previously it was to be expressed as a power of a power of products of prime numbers. Now in this case we have to express it as a num as a power of a given number. Look at this. Write 125 as a power of 5. Now in this case you have to divide 125 by only 5 until you obtain 1 as the final answer in the division part. So let's get started. 125 divided by 5 will give you 25. That divided by 5 again is 5. Once again we divide by 5 and that gives you 1. Now here we have divided 125 by 5 only until we get 1. So 125 can be written as 5 into 5 into 5 that is 5 to the power 3 and moving on to the next part ah, that is another example 256 
as a power of 2. Once again, we continuously divide 256 by 2 until we obtain 1 like this. So, 256 divided by 2 is 128. That by 2 is 64. That by 2 is 32. And again by 2 is 16. And once again by 2 gives you 8. Then 4 then 2 and finally 1 like this. Now here you can see along the divisor column 2 has been written so many times that is 8 times. So it is 256 is equal to 2 to the power 8. So this is how we write a given number as a power of another number. So always you have to keep in mind you should divide by only the number given in the question until you get 1. So that's all there and then we move on to another part of this lesson that is powers with an algebraic symbol as the base. Now instead of the base if you have an unknown term or an algebraic symbol how to perform the sum we are going to see. Write the following in index notation. Look at this example 2 into 2 into 2 into a into a into a into a. So here 2 is written 3 times. So if you write that part in index notation you get 2 to the power 3. A is written 4 times. So the, that part in index notation will give you a to the power 4. Now remember when there is an algebraic symbol always the number must come first. The numerical part come, must come first and then the algebraic notation should come next. Here the next important thing you should remember is the multiplication sign in between the number and the algebraic symbol can be omitted in this case. So again the final answer can be written as 2 to the power 3 a to the power 4 without the multiplication sign. This is an important thing. Uh, you can neglect or you can omit the multiplication sign in between. We will look into another example. Here y is given 5 times and 5 is given 2 times. Though 5 is at the end, when writing the answer 5 to the power 2 must be written first because that is the numerical part. We generally follow this order. Though it is written in the other way around, it is not wrong, but this is the general way of writing uh, algebraic expressions along with numbers. The number must come first. So here once again, the multiplication sign can be neglected and it can be written as 5 to the power 2, y to the power 5. So this is how we deal with algebraic symbols as the base in indices. And then we shall see another part where you may get questions. Expand and write the following as a product. Now here the index notation is given. You have to write the expanded form. Now 2 to the power 2, a to the power 3. You must remember the operation in between these two parts is multiplication. So when expanding we write this as a multiplication or we can say it is written as a product. So here 2 must be multiplied twice and a must be multiplied thrice. So 2 to the power 2, a to the power 3 is equal to 2 into 2 into a into a into a. Look into this example, p squared q to the power 4. So here p must be written twice, p into p and q 4 times. So this is how you expand a given product into the expanded form. Coming to the final part of this section that is finding the value of a power by substitution. The value of an unknown power can be found by substituting a given number to the unknown term in this power. So here this can be done in two methods. Look at this example. Find the value of a to the power 4 when a is equal to 2. Now in the first method what I do is I substitute the value of a that is 2 that is substituting here is writing the value of the given number instead of the unknown term. Now here instead of a I have written 2. So a to the power 4 becomes 2 to the power 4 and in the next step I expand 2 to the power 4 like this 
and then I multiply and take the value. 2 into 2 is 4, 4 into 2 is 8, 8 into 2 is 16. So, a to the power 4 is equal to 16 when a is equal to 2. The second method is also very similar, only one step is different. Uh, that is, in the second method, I expand and substitute. Now, in the first method, I substituted and expanded. In the second method, I expand and then substitute. That is, a to the power 4 can be written as a into a into a into a. Since a is equal to 2, instead of these a's, I write 2's like this. And then, once again, just like before, I multiply and take the answer as 16. So, any method can be followed. Whatever the method you follow, you get the same answer. And the difference between the two methods is very sim simple. And uh, let's do one more example below this topic. Find the value of p squared into q cube when p is 2 and q is 3. So, I let me follow the first method here. I first substitute. So, p squared will become 2 squared when p is equal to 2 and q to the power 3 becomes 3 to the power 3 when q is substituted with 3 and then I expand it like this. 2 into 2 is 4, 3 into 3 into 3 is 27. So, it becomes 4 into 27 and then final answer is 108. So, this is how you deal with indices under this grade. Hope I made myself clear on how to write a number in index notation with a prime number base, with algebraic bases and also how to get the answer by substituting values on unknown terms. See you with another smart math clip. Until then, goodbye.